Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to make a, a hole using the famous uh, Roper Whitney number 5 Junior Punch. But first, it, we're going to look at what happens if you try and drill a hole. Um, in particular, we're talking about sheet metal today. Why would you want to use the punch instead of just a normal drill? So, I've got a piece of steel here. It's just, uh, you know, flat steel. A little hole, a little nick in it. And for the start out, I'm going to just drill a hole. Got the drill press going. And if you do anything like this ever, make sure you got gloves on because if the drill catches that metal, it'll swing around and it'll slice your hand. So, so that was pretty easy to make the hole. Look at it. If you look at it closely though, it's this hole here on the top. You'll see that it's, it's not perfectly round. And the other thing you get is you get all this burrs and stuff hanging off the back side. So now granted you can clean the burrs up, you can get a file or sometimes even a larger drill bit and just kind of clean it up. But wouldn't it be nice if there was a way to get that hole without having all that crud? Well, that's where the number five junior comes in. So it looks like this. Here's here's our number five junior. It, uh, I'm going to back the camera out a little bit so we can see it better here. So, it has basically the lever arm. There's a pin that goes down through a hole here. You can take the, the pin and the hole, they're, they're mated pairs. You can take them apart and put different ones in so you can do different size holes. The, uh, the punch comes with a different a set of uh, holes. Um, ranging in size, this particular one, which is a, a cheap knockoff of the original Roper Whitney number no. five, goes from three thirty seconds up to nine thirty second inch in uh, one thirty second increments. So, so what does it take to make a hole with this thing? Well, not a lot. We. Basically, there's our drill hole here. For this, you basically put the put it in there, and you just squeeze the handle, open it back up. Nope, that one didn't go all the way through. Let's try that again. Put it in, squeeze the handle, take it back off. Now you can see we have a nice round, clean hole. Looks like I didn't quite push the first one hard enough. So the other thing that's nice about this, it's got this little adjustable thing here. You can use that when you slide your metal in to make sure it's always the same distance from an edge. So you could go, you know, if you were going along this edge making holes, it would always be the same distance. And you can adjust it just by loosening it up, moving it back and forth, and then retightening the screw. Then the other thing that you might want to do, change the size of the hole you're going to do. So to do that, this one, this one happens to be new, so it, I can do it by hand. There's also a tool that comes with it. Works, fits in these slots, and you can turn the thing in and out. You take this out, that was a quarter inch, let's say I wanted to go down to an eighth inch hole. I take the one that said an eighth, that's in the, in the tray, I'll screw that in here. You'll screw it in until, until it just comes out of, the, out of the top in here. And then you got to change the pin because now this pin won't fit in the hole because it's still the quarter inch pin. To do that, this screw here has to come out. Just take it out by hand. That'll let this thing open up. And then you can slide this all back. And here's the pin. Take that out. Grab the pin you want to use. In this case, it's the 1 8 inch pin. Put that in the slot. And then slide it back up until it goes in the in the groove in the handle there and you set that back in 
put the screw back in the, uh, in the handle here. And now it's ready to make eighth inch holes. So just to compare, we'll just punch out one of those. There, now I've got a beautiful eighth inch hole, a couple of quarter inch holes. We don't have any of the nasty burrs that come with a drill. And it also doesn't warp your, uh, your metal as much. So you have to look at the, uh, the particular punch you had to see how thick of a material it can actually punch. But in general, most sheet metals would be good. And like this is a piece of steel and it didn't have any trouble with the steel. You could obviously do aluminum, brass, copper, any, any kind of sheet metal like that. It probably won't work on, on plastics just because uh, you're likely to break the plastic because of being brittle. But uh, if you need to make, make holes, a lot of holes, clean and fast, look up at number five junior punch. It's a great way to go.